Okay, so my mom just got back from getting me some mice and um, and a hornworm. This is what a hornworm looks like. Um, I'm gonna give that to my gecko, um, but I'm gonna give my gecko Sullivan, but I'm gonna give that to him later tonight when he comes out. And he's probably, there's part of him, he's, he's in there somewhere. But um, he comes out at night and hangs up on top of this rock. And so I'm gonna give him the worm then, but I'm gonna vlog that. Um, let's see, so I have fed before for you guys on, um, I've already done a vlog feeding before, so I'm kind of, right now, I'm debating whether I should. It's kind of hard to, eh, I might as well do it. So, um, okay, so, oh shoot, I was gonna open up one second. Let me open up some drawers and, and whatnot um, with two hands. Okay, so these are called pinkies. Come here, little pinky. And they're very cute little things. Come here. But the cutest are actually these guys. Whoop, come here. They're called, uh, whoops, they're called fuzzies. And I think they're really cute. Huh, cute little fuzzy. I'm really sorry, but my snake needs to eat. I'm not sure where my snake is at the moment. He's usually over there on the warm, this is the warm side. So usually he's, well that is a climbing mouse. I don't even think his eyes are open yet and it's climbing around. You can hear the Sadie barking in the background. So, um, so yeah, I'm not sure where Ziv is. Ziv is in here somewhere. He's my albino paint. Um, but yeah, there you go. Fascinating. So, okay, so we're not really going to watch him. And then I've got... These guys over here. Here is Yao Wen. I mean, I'm sorry, this isn't Yao Wen. This is Mazin. Come here. I know, I'm so really sorry. He's not being very cooperative. The mouse, not the snake. Huh, weird. Maybe, um, I'm gonna leave him in there for a little bit. Um, but, uh, maybe my snake isn't really interested in eating at this moment. I don't know. Maybe then he doesn't want to be watched while we eat. Yeah, when will? There's her pink nose back there. She will eat when being watched. I can actually, oh, I hear a squeak. That means he. That's the sad part when they're strangling them, suffocating them. Um, because obviously that would be a horrible way to die, to be suffocating to death. But 
I'm sorry, little mouse. Okay, yeah, win. Let me. Oh, you're a mover. So there's her. Her face. Ooh. Oh, she kind of missed, and she got sand in her mouth. Oh, they're cuddling. She doesn't want to open her mouth again because she's got, or she might, but she's got sand in it. She's got to figure out where the perfect, they like to hold on to their heads and then uh, wrap their body around the rest of their body. Um, because obviously the head is where the mouse can bite. Now these guys, the little ones, you don't have to worry about so much biting. Um, but when they become bigger mice, like my other guys, they, um, they you have to worry more about uh, them biting. And it hurts to be bit by a mouse. Actually, people have asked me, and I don't know if I said this in the last video or not, but um, what hurts, this is each on, what hurts more, um, a, um, a mouse, I mean, yeah, they asked me if a snake bite hurts. And, um, and I just tell them that, um, it hurts more when the mice bite ya. Rajani is in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find her head. I think it's all the way back there. So, I am just going to put the mouse in because I'm actually bending down right now. Or, I'm sitting, but I am crouching down and it kind of hurts yes it does but let's see if I can hang in there a few more seconds Ooh, oh, not really didn't really get where she wanted What are you going to do with it? Are you just going to hold on to it? Or are you going to strangle it? Or what's the plan, Arjani? All right, I'll wait a few more seconds. But if she doesn't do anything, I have to shut this because I'm hurting really bad. There we go, getting it into a bigger, better strangulation um, thing, whatever I, what I was going to say. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I'm going to sit here for a second and um, then get up because um, I'm too lightheaded to get up right away, so I have to turn this off. Okay. Oh, we have a balancing mouse. Good balancing act, little mouse. Will you get down? Come on, jump down. Okay, well, we'll just leave it there for a second. Oh, oh. So let's see, in here we have Rhea. There she is. She's gonna get two mice. I don't know if, um, Drop down. Um, if last time, but now it's kind of hard for me to tell which ones are mice and which ones are fuzzies, um, hoppers. This one is a mouse, definitely. Um, she, I don't, she, when she launches forward, she makes a big mess with the sand when she tries to catch the mouse, so I'm not going to. Uh, oh, she didn't get it yet. What happened, Rhea? Where's the mouse? Right. 
So this one is Breck. Breck may be pregnant. Um, but um, I'm kind of, I don't really think she is, but it would be cool if she was. Oh, wait. I need to put two mice in this one. See, since she's above the sand, I will. They're not the greatest hunters. They mostly are better when they are just are under the sand and then they pop up from the sand and they grab. But, um, there we go. That's the sad part when they squeak. Because I've had pet mice before and pet rats and that kind of stuff. And this, this is kind of sad to me. So, okay, we'll shut that. Okay, gave one to Breck. Uh, Saffron is in here. She's shedding though, so I'm not going to give her one. Oh, here's Azran. She sees or she hears commotion. Okay. Oh, she's biting my snake. Don't bite my snake. Here we have Calyx. He is Breck's husband. And hopefully father-to-be. I'm not sure where, oh there, his head, his nose is right there. Oh, we were almost there. So close. <laughs> hey mouse, go back the other way. Come on, go back this way. Good crab. Quidel. Hi, buddy. You hear all the commotion? He gets one of these little guys, a hopper. Then in here we've got Yuki and Myrick. Yuki has actually been hanging out with Saffron this past month because I'm hoping Yuki and Saffron will make some babies for me. Um, here, you want to come out so bad? You can be next. I'm sorry. Um, but I put Yuki back in here um, because uh, to feed him, obviously. I can't, you can't feed two snakes together in the same cage. It just doesn't really work. So, um, so I separated him earlier today to put him in here and then I'll leave him in here for two days so he can digest his food and, and whatnot. And then, um, I will take him out. He may eat or he may not eat. Um, a lot of times when snakes are breeding, they don't really want to eat. And so, um, and so we'll see if... He doesn't want to eat. I'll always, I can feed the mouse to um, Myrick or another. Usually I do Myrick because he's a big, bigger, he's the biggest male I have. And uh, he, he's more than happy to, come here, 
to um, pick up, eat the leftovers for me. Oh, you're a fast one. Doesn't help that I'm trying to catch you with my left hand, and I can't really do it with my left hand. Come here. Come here, stay still. I need to have you be eaten. I know, I'm really sorry. There we go. Yeah, it looks like Yuki is probably not going to eat. I'm not sure where he is in there, but usually they're never too far away from the surface. And so um, I'll leave the mouse in there for about 10 minutes, and then I'll come back whew, and see um, how, uh, if the mouse is gone yet, or if, or if I need to feed it to somebody else. And this little guy is still alive. I don't know where Ziv is. Oh, there he is. He's right there. He just hasn't grabbed it yet, but he will. I've never had him not eat. Actually, all my babies are really good at, uh, at eating. So it looks like he killed the mouse. Now after they kill him, the sand boas kind of hit like to, they're not in a big rush. So they just kind of wait and uh, hang out. And then eventually they swallow, swallow them. Yeah, Wind's actually a pretty fast eater usually. She's done the killing part. Now she's just kind of waiting. Yeah, one is the prettiest snake I have. Or I think she's the prettiest one out of all mine. She is a snow splash. Um, I'm going to breed her to uh, Mason when the time comes. killed his mouse. Nobody's swallowing them yet. It's fun to watch them eat when they're like halfway down their throats. So, um, especially the bigger mice. So he's kind of feeling around, kind of seeing if he can find the front of the head. They like to eat head first. He's just kind of trying to find the best spot. There we go. Shawnee, she has killed her mouse. Oh. Okay, I need to sit here for a couple minutes, so I'm gonna turn this off again. All right, I'm sitting in the chair. Um, I wanted to say that uh, yesterday, yesterday was Dash's party. I had so much fun, and everyone um, just made it a blast, and uh, I just had a really great day yesterday, so, um, which is neat because, well, one thing I was planning on crashing, being crashed today, I call that crashing, the aftermath of being really active one day and then you really pay for it the next day, um, but I'm not paying for it too bad, um, 
I definitely have more pain today um, than usual, but um, I'm still able to get up and feed my snakes, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling okay. Um, not not great, but I'm feeling okay today. Um, I'm mostly just really happy. I mean, I told, you know, when I was praying to God, <laughs> I was saying, you know, give me, you know, five bad days in a row. I don't care. Let me just, you know, have the party on Saturday and let me get through this. And I got the party on Saturday, so I'm okay to be uh, not feeling well for five days. Only five days, though. No, I, it's going to be longer than five days because I'm actually playing around with uh, some of my medicines right now. And so um, after this, uh, after today, I'm planning on not uh, feeling well for some time until my other medicines start working or um, if they uh, don't work at all. So we've got to wait and see. So I'm going to not be feeling good for a while, a couple of days at least. And so, um, so I'm not going to be uh, filming or anything like that. Um, uh, I really wanted to. I'll see. Hopefully, I might be able to film tomorrow. because I'm going to try because the goats might get to try on their new harnesses tomorrow that uh, Frank and Betty bought them. And I wanted to film that. But um, if I don't feel good, uh, they said, don't worry about it. We can always... Uh, put them on them for a first time tomorrow because I I mean for the first time a different day If that makes any sense um, I'm not sure and I'm sorry that the camera is shaking a little bit. I'm starting to shake so um, Yeah, so let's Let's take a look and see um, If the snakes if They've gotten any further. I'll look at Yao Win. See, she's got her mouth partly around it. Okay, let's. All right, I'm gonna stand up, and I'm excited. So I've never fed. I've got to um, hold on to this after I stand up. I have to hold on to something. Um, I'm excited to feed. Where did it go? There it is. This hornworm later tonight because I've never fed him anything besides um, really cockroaches. I tried mealworms or superworms or before I got him. And I mean, after I got him and he wasn't really a big eater of those. And then I switched him to cockroaches, which are up here. And he really likes the cockroaches. I just leave the cockroaches in this dish. The cockroaches can't climb out of it. And he eats them at his leisure. But tonight, I'm going to uh, just stick the hornworm in front of him and hopefully he will um, decide to eat it. That would be awesome. But um, if he doesn't eat it, then I don't know what I'll do with it. This mouse is still alive. That means this one is in the middle of getting eaten. Sometimes she kills the mouse the second, sometimes she kills both mice and then eats one and then eats the other. But it looks like she decided to kill and eat one and then kill and eat the other. Oh, upside down. Actually, maybe I'll take that mouse out and put it in with her later. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't, but it seems like the mouse is kind of bugging her, so I'm going to put the mouse. I'm going to put it, him back in there for a little while. 
so it's not climbing over her while she's trying to eat. You can see she gets a little bit of sand in her mouth, but um, uh, they've never, sand boas have never had, um, they're okay to eat on sand. They don't get impaction from this kind of sand. This kind of sand is called sandblasting sand. And um, so it's safe to, to feed on and they seem to like it. But everybody who has sand boas puts them on a different type of substrate. Um, there's lots of good substrates, that's the ground, uh, to use. Um, so everybody uses a different kind and the snakes don't really say they, you know, don't like it. So, But um, the sand is cool because um, it's kind of heavy and so it actually they have to work a little bit harder to move through it and therefore it helps them with a uh, muscle tone and you'd be like well why does it matter if your snake has muscles well one thing that's important about a snake having muscles is for breeding females if they're muscular they'll have an easier time getting birth and so um, you want them to be fit and um, so that's important with that and I'm getting a weird yellow thing just popped up on the screen. I'm not sure what that means. I kind of wanted to watch you guys have her so eat the whole mouse, but I'm not sure how long that will take. Um, because she hasn't gotten terribly far. She's not even past the legs yet. Um, so um, I'm just going to let her be and maybe I'll check on her later, maybe I won't. Let's see if we have any action with males. Alright, Calyx killed his mouse and then went away. So I'm gonna leave, so sometimes they do that, sometimes they leave it and then they come back and they eat it later. So I'm gonna leave the mouse in there for um, about another 10 minutes and uh, maybe even 15 minutes and uh, if he still hasn't come back and eaten the mouse then I will remove the mouse and throw it away. Let's see, Quidel. Has, look at that. He has already killed his mouse and eaten it. It's already in his belly somewhere. He was a fast one. You can see his thick belly right there where the mouse is sitting. So he's already complete. See, it's so funny to watch the snakes um, each eat, you know, in different ways. I just noticed that, all right, I'm gonna squat down, which is kind of dangerous for me. Breck has not eaten this mouse for some reason. And so I am gonna try to feed Saffron, who is kind of shedding right now, but not terribly deep in the shed. And so I am going to Oh, let go of my camera. Whoops, sorry Saffron, I didn't mean to throw her on you. Get off the water. Um, that's... Whoops. Sorry, it's fuzzy. There we go. So, she's the one that I'm breeding to Yuki right now, that they've been in the same cage together. So she may not want to eat because she's also thinking about breeding and because she's shedding. But um, we'll see if she eats that mouse. Um, whoever doesn't eat, I just kind of played musical mouse with. And, um, and I see uh, who wants to eat a second mouse and who doesn't. I usually don't have leftovers. If I do get leftovers, for whatever reason, I take them back to 
the reptile store. And it looks like she, this is Azaran, has already eaten hers. Wow, Quidel, her husband, who we looked at is a cow flame. He ate his already too. So you, cow flames, are really fast at eating. Yes, you are. You're a fast eating snake. That is a happy looking snake right there. Can we see in your stomach where it is? In your belly? Can't really tell exactly where it is, but yummy. Okay, push her back in. Let's check on Rhea again. I gotta stand up straight instead of hunch over because I'm starting to hurt pretty bad. Sorry that I'm complaining about my, uh, you know, complaining about everything on this. And sorry about my shaky, my shaky hand in the video. Okay, I think what I'll do is maybe I'll sit in that chair and sit. Oh, she's almost done. I want you guys to watch the finishing touch of her swallowing the whole mouse from the all the way till the tail goes down. <laughs> that's always funny when they look when they have two legs sticking out like that. I always thought think that stage is kind of funny. So um like I said, later today, I'm going to, later tonight, it's about 5 o'clock now, I want to say, maybe 5.36. Um, I'm going to go down with my dad and help feed the animals. I uh, switched, they're going to get um, a new supplement um, for their coat. And um, I am going to, uh, I need to bring it down there and... Um, and but my dad will go with me so I because I can't do the actual feeding part of picking up the hay and um, I decided to bump the boy the donkeys up to two pounds of hay together instead of a pound and a half um, because you know dash was is one now so it's time for him to eat um, eat more and so um, and yeah because he's a growing boy so um, it's time for him to eat a little more food. There we go. <sighs> Yummy. Now I'm going to take this mouse back out. And put it in there. And She might wait a few seconds or she might go right after. She'll probably um, wait a little bit, but maybe not. She totally missed. Alright, well, alright. Well, I'm gonna leave leave everybody be for oh this is Myrick. He's killing his mouse. Yuki, I believe, has already eaten his. Oh no, he's eating his right now. There is his head. All right, I have to go lay down. I have to stop filming. So anyways, so I'm going to um, show feeding. So later in the video, you will see me, hopefully if I feel good. Well, I'm really starting to shake now. Um, if I feel okay, I will um, feed, um, show you feeding my um, my animals. So everybody, you get to watch everybody eat today, except for the dogs. We're not going to show the dogs eating because that's kind of boring. They actually free feed, and then they get a little bit of wet food in the morning and a little bit of wet food at night. But... Um, yeah, so, okay, you guys probably don't care much about what the dogs eat. I was just, just saying. All right, so, um, I've, I've got to go lay down. All right, see you guys later. Okay, let's see if everybody ate. 
Hi. Oh, you want another, do you? No, you've already have two. But if I have a leftover, I will give her another one. Oh yeah, I took the mouse out of Breck's cage. The tub because she wasn't eating it. Let's see, Azran. Oh yeah, she ate hers. I remember now, there's part of her body. I see down here that we have a mouse in Saffron's cage, which I'm not surprised that she didn't eat. So I am gonna put the mouse in Rhea's cage. Whoops. And I'll push Saffron back in. Now, shoot, I can see it in here. Looks like he is not going to eat this mouse. He's just killed it and then left it. So I am going to throw it away. Let's see. Um, Quidel, he ate his. Yuki and Myrick, I'm pretty sure they were eating theirs. Just make sure that they completed the mission because they smell really, really gross when um, after they're dead for a while, they smell pretty gross. So, uh, yeah, I'll take those down later. Um, all right, I'm gonna go grab a, uh, oh, let's see if you ever ate your mouse. Yes, you did. Um, I'm gonna go get a tissue and wrap that mouse up and then throw it away in the green waste. I feel like if I throw it away in the green waste, it doesn't get wasted, it's going back into the earth. And so maybe, um, maybe it, it, it all comes around, you know, circle of life sort of thing. And then this worm is gonna be, we're gonna feed the other, the farm animals first, the donkeys and the goats, and then come back and then um, I'm gonna feed him. I set my alarm for nine o'clock. That's usually about the time uh, Sully comes out and sits on top of his rock. So there we have it. Two thirds. That is measuring out hay. Um, hi, buddy. How's my one-year-old birthday boy? Oh, yeah, you're not birthday boy anymore, but you're still one years old. Hi, Pip. So the donkeys are now getting different food. They get two pounds of hay in each bucket instead of one and a half pounds. They get a half a cup of feed, one and a half tablespoons of the new supplement. It's a coat supplement. It's in a bag. And a half teaspoon of chia seeds. So we'll walk over here. You're missing your uh, no, black I buckets. I gotta feed the goats. Oh, okay. Got to do it. So I need to get scissors to cut this open. So I'm gonna turn the camera off while I open that up. So I just opened up um, that bag. So Dad, they are gonna get. Wait, let me see. Is that a half a tablespoon? They need. That's a half a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon. Okay, I believe. Yeah, that's right. And then the tablespoon, yeah, is in here. So, okay. That's a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's what I want. I looked earlier and then I forgot what I wanted. So, they can have a cup of that. And a half teaspoon of this. Mm-hmm. And don't, there you go. I was going to say don't sprinkle it all around because they don't like it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Can you put the little zipper, zip, zip that, zipper up? Thank you. Oh, okay. You guys have made it really dusty. Oh, oh my. Oh, they're so hungry. The boys listening. Come on, guys. Let's go. Whoop. Pip, is that scary? Pip, it's okay. You can go in there. Yep. Dash always does that. He grabs a couple bites of the feed and then he walks over to the other and gets the bites of that feed. So he ends up eating more of the feed than Pip does, which is really funny. And then dad fed the goaties. Hi goats. 
Hi guys! Ah. Huh, do I have treats or anything? I don't, I don't. All right, so that was feeding the animals. Um, oh, and uh, better turn off, we can turn off the lights. Bum bum, can't see anything except the goats. All right, I'm gonna feed Sullivan in about an hour and a half, two hours, and then um, probably an hour. And uh, I'll see you guys then. No, this is like, okay. My mom is with, oh, sorry, she doesn't, she's in her pajamas. Um, I, um, want to feed him this hornworm, but the problem is he, uh, is not out. I thought he would come out and be on top of this rock like he does every night, but hold on, sorry, one second, one second, um, I, these guys are really fun, they're really sticky to the, here's his face, I think, guess that's his face, yeah, this is his hind end, but lots, normally they have horns on them, or maybe just the males have horns on them, I'm not sure, okay, so, I was hoping he would be out, and he's not, so I don't know if he'll be too shy to come out, Sully! Hey, Sullivan! Sully Wooly! Come look at this! Oh. The worm isn't moving yet, so he doesn't quite know that it's alive. Leopard geckos don't eat dead things, they like to eat, so they only like to eat moving things, so they don't really see that it's moving, and so he doesn't really poke, poke, poke. No, Sully! Come back in, Sully Wooly. Sully. Why did you go back in? Come here, Sully. His moss needs to be wetted down. I haven't wetted it today. Hi, buddy. Hi. Come here. This guy is really yummy. He's called a hornworm. Oh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, it's, it's yummy. Whoops. Oh, he does want it. Oh, man, that's a big. Oh, this is exciting. I'm glad I can feed him something besides cockroaches. Oh, how cool is this? Oh, not. Is that the head? Yeah, I, I don't know what that part is. I can't tell. Some people feed their leopard geckos pinkies, actually. I think that's sad, and they're actually not supposed to eat pinkies, I guess, because of the bone, oh. or not the bone, something, something, oh. Oh. something, uh, there's some reason they can't eat pinkies. I feel like it's like, it's like Noah and the whale. The whale, I know, because he seems and like he's like still probably just alive. Getting, they're just going to live in there, make like a little family, <laughs> wait until they're rescued, until he barbs. Yeah, I hope it stays down. That was neat, Sully. Thanks for joining us. Was that? He did a, he did doing that a big taste, smile. Did that taste good? Oh, let's make sure he doesn't. It's like it's. Is it wiggling and wiggling and squiggling, squiggling inside you? Oh my! Oh he my! Worm. Worm. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I think he's 
He's trying to figure out what the heck He's like, I don't know. Like. He's like, huh. He's like, that was pretty yummy. You know, it's weird. All right. Like, that thing was half his size. You didn't even see it. So when we eat a lot of food, it just goes in our bodies. I know, it makes it's crazy. Wait. All right, I have to um, spray his... His hide. Now he's trying to work it off. Work it off. Work it off. That's right, you fat boy. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Oh, it was so cool, Kevin. I'll, we'll do it again now that we know that he can eat them. So this needs to be moist moss. And part of it is hot, and then part of it is cold, so he can decide whether he wants to be on the hot part of the moss, or the warm part of the moss, or the cool part of the moss. And then same with this, there's a heat mat on half of this, so he can be cold, or he can be hot. The, the geckos, uh, all reptiles need to thermoregulate. They need to, um, they have to be hot sometimes and be cold sometimes and so hey buddy and so um they need uh always a place to cool down and a place to uh, warm back up so uh, it's important to have those uh, let him have ideas choices whether he can be warm or whether he can be hot um if that makes any sense i don't know Come here, buddy. I need this. Did he did. He ate it. Did he? Yeah, it was so awesome, Dad. Was he having fun? Oh, yeah. He was having fun. Oh, this is a new treat. Yep, it's going to be a new treat. I'll get him every once in a while. He loved it. Are you going to go back in your moist hide, or are you going to... Oops, sorry, buddy. Alright, well, that was pretty cool that he, that he ate that new type of food, hornworms. Unfortunately, they're like a dollar each. They used to be two for a dollar, but now I think they're a dollar each. So, um, yeah, so, but I'll get them for them every now and then, maybe once a month um, or twice a month. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look to see what is a healthy amount for a leopard gecko to eat a hornworms. Okay. All right, well, good night, Sully, Wooly, and uh, yeah, here we go. My hair is all kind of crazy. It's it's 9.30 uh, something, and um, yeah, so there we go. All right, good night. Thanks for watching, and depending on when you see this, have a good day or have a good night. I'm going to try to post it. I am posting it tonight, but I'm not sure. Um, if, uh, or I'm going to try to post it tonight, so we'll see. All right, Ta see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Okay. I know I said goodnight, but I figured since I filmed every single one of my, I almost filmed every single one of my animals eating, um, you got to see both donkeys eat, both goats eat, Sullivan ate, all 13 of the snakes ate, um, and so what leaves us is the two dogs. We need to feed them a lot, huh, Raven? So I'm gonna give her these treats just for being good. They get one of these each, um, each night. And um, they already got them, but what is that? What am I doing over here? Huh?
Would you like another treat? And then there's Sadie. Sadie, sit. Good girl, wait. Sadie knows to stay out of my room when it's none night treat time. Lay down. Good girl. Whoops, sorry. There you go. Oh, hi. Now we say good night. Good night, Sadie. Oh, I told Dad I would turn the lights off, so I guess I'll do that. Off, off, off. Not done in there. So, okay. I don't know if you can see my face or not because I'm not looking through the, uh, you know, viewfinder and whatever. But, um, good night.